Hey everyone, it's Abby, your favorite hygienist here at Tooth Time. We have a very exciting video for you today. So, so you know the drill. First, hit that like button, that subscribe button, but also comment below any content that you want to see. And if you like our video, let's get started. Okay, so you can see that. So we're going to take off these colored singles, which are the dark blue. If I can't remember the color, don't beat me down for it. But you get the point so we're gonna go ahead and take off these co single colors and then we're gonna remove the wire today what we're gonna do we're gonna remove her appliance and then we're gonna reposition some brackets so let's get started So first we're going to go ahead and just remove the brackets. We're going to remove the brackets because we we need to reposition teeth. And what that means is that the root of the tooth is rotated either distal or mesially, meaning left or right or front or back. And we need to adjust the root to help align the teeth better as well. And what if you do not reposition teeth, sometimes what starts to happen is you cause root resorption. Root resorption is when you kind of uh, start to get deterioration of the root. So this patient, she initially had, she started with the phase one treatment and now she transitioned to a phase two. Well, phase one is when we start treatment um, early on in their orthodontic treatment, which they're young, usually maybe they're nine, 10, 11, they haven't had all their teeth erupted. Their bite is different. So we're gonna go, we started with the phase one which was the RPE appliance, the expander appliance, which the link will be above to show you what an RPE is. Um, she went ahead, we went ahead and took off the RPE and we put a lower lingual retaining arch. And so what that does, it retains the arch of the teeth while the RPE was removed to avoid any relapse. So what we're gonna do now is now remove the lower lingual appliance to just place some molar bands because it is no longer needed and if just you're curious as to why we didn't place spacers is because the teeth already had space with the molar appliance that we had on the bottom so another video that we have already and you will link it up above that you could click on is um, placing the molar band so what we're going to do is place new molar bands on the bottom and we're going to use our fuji uh, glue So now what we're going to go ahead and do is reposition the brackets. So we went ahead and removed the brackets. Now we have to remove the glue, which you'll see being done here.
Next step is we'll apply some bonding material to the teeth. What the bonding material is, it's just like a step of series to bonding a bracket. It just helps adhere everything better. So we'll go ahead and place the bonding material. We'll kind of do some direction of placement with the brackets by a marking with our pencil of where kind of the bracket needs to be. And we'll place the bracket with our glue and, and then we'll go ahead and measure the brackets. And just know that the placement of reposition, repositioning brackets are new brackets. We don't put the old brackets on, we put new brackets. Reason being is because there's already residue placed on the previous bracket and there's no way of taking that off. And their bracket's not going to adhere good if you put an old bracket back on. So after we place the bracket, we measure it. We're gonna go ahead and cure it to make sure that it stays on really well. And what is a curing light? A curing light is a UV light that is super bright. Don't look into it. You need to protect your eyes because it will hurt your eyes. That's gonna go ahead and harden the glue. And that's pretty much what it does. It just hardens the glue. So now what we're gonna do is put the same wire she had on back on. There's no need to get a new wire with that because it's already um, shaped to the way her teeth are and it's going to continue to activate. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and place the wire back on and place a single. So the patient asks for patterns. Patterns are like red, blue, red, blue, or pink, red. And solids are like a solid red on top, a solid pink on bottom. You know, you get the point, right? Feel free to always request anything that you'd like. Your dentists are usually very open to whatever color you want. So if you want three colors, four colors, you want patterns, solids, um, one color on the left, one color on the right, whatever you like. So maybe you want to get red, red, white, and blue since 4th of July is coming up. water pick that you have um, you have to really use that for your braces okay And I know what you guys have already probably already pointed out with your eyes. Yes, the patient has some plaque buildup. Yes, she has some, some inflammation. As you can see in the beginning of the video, I kind of picked up some of that plaque. And you can see that white material on that explore that I was kind of showing on the camera. And so the perks of being a hygienist working in ortho is that you can kind of educate more patients on their oral hygiene, demonstrate to them how to brush, floss, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that on this video. And I went ahead and did all of that with this patient here. 
So this patient, I went ahead and used a pediatric toothbrush. Now, honestly, that's all I had available at the moment, but it actually worked out really well because sometimes it's really hard to kind of get around the brackets with a large toothbrush. So if you are able to get a pediatric toothbrush and that works better for you to get, especially in the back areas, then go ahead and do that. And with her, it worked really, really well. So I'm showing her a way of brushing her teeth while she has her braces on. So instead of going straight back and forth, um, whenever you brush your teeth, you're going to go into circular motions, brushing the front of the brackets, the top of the brackets by angulating your toothbrush ever so slightly in a, an acute angle and going circular motions. And then so I'm going to go ahead and brush the front around the gum area in circular motions, but also on the top of the teeth so where your chewing surfaces are and then you're going to go ahead and brush that area you also have to remember don't forget to brush the inside of your teeth make sure to also brush the palate and the tongue i went ahead and demonstrated to the patient that after you're done brushing or before you you brush whatever is better for you you're going to use your tooth bristles your tooth bristles you never go with the pointy side going towards the gum always go away from the gum reason being is because you can always poke your gums and you can cause trauma bleeding and you know discomfort always go away and you just kind of go slide back and forth to kind of remove any of that plaque as you can see this tooth bristles do a fantastic job of removing any of that plaque in between the teeth that brushing couldn't remove so any of these products that i mentioned the water flosser the floss the tooth bristles the toothbrush any of that you can click on the link above and it'll send you straight to our store and you can go ahead and look into that as well a question i get a lot is how can i floss when i have braces well this is a great way to find out right now i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to the patient so you're going to get this floss slide it in between your wire and your brackets and you're going to hug your tooth like the letter c go side to side like a c-shaped flossy never go up and down because you're just going to cause trauma to your gums so i necessarily don't have a water pick here in the office that i use on patients so i use the air and water syringe tip that we have here in the office so any of that plaque that kind of tried to build up underneath the gum line or in between the brackets and so you're going to flush everything out again thank you so much for looking at our videos at our content if you have any questions for me hygiene tips if i miss something that maybe i didn't get to answer or if you think of something else go ahead and comment below and we'll go ahead and try to answer everything and put it in our next video we'll see you next time bye if you like braces content and you want to see more make sure you like subscribe and comment down below